you clicked on this video because you want to find out the difference between raptors and trusses and which is the best choice for your home. Let's get started. Okay, as you can see, I have you guys some very nice eye candy. Now it really helps with YouTube's algorithm if you watch the video all the way through. It's called the retention of the video. So to keep your attention, I have these hot chicks in the video while I'm talking about roofing. Now, my name is Zach Blingasop. I'm the owner of a company called Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a licensed general contractor and roofing contractor in over nine states. I'm also a US military veteran. Let's get started. All right, so while the girls are off playing, we're gonna talk about the serious subject of rafters versus trusses and which is the best one for your home. Now, we're gonna talk about the summary of the video first. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the different options for your home. And we're gonna define what is a truss or what are trusses and what are rafters. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the pros and cons of both of them. And then we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of rafters versus trusses. And then we're gonna sum everything up together and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. So let's get started. All right, if you see me look off to my left for a moment, it's only because I've got a lot of notes on this subject. I wanna make sure that you're getting all the best information, especially while all this is going on. So if you're planning on building a new home, one of the most difficult decisions you're actually gonna to have to make is do you go with rafters or do you go with trusses and which one is a better option for you? Now. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about what a rafters are and then, of course, what trusses are. So rafters, think of this as stick framing. In my opinion, rafters is, gives you more of a custom fill. And what I mean by that is with rafters, you're gonna have, uh, everything's built on the job site. It's not pre-made in some factory somewhere. So uh, all the work has to be done right on the job site. Uh, with that, rafters are usually made from wood or steel. They're individually cut, measured, and joined together with collar ties to make up the roofing structure. Uh, in order to successfully support the roof and roof sheathing, the rafters are laid side by side to form a triangular shape. Now, fastened at the peak of the ridge board, the structural members slope down on each side until they reach the ceiling joist and the top of the walls. Now, one of the cool things about rafters, and I'll talk about this a little bit more when we go to trust is, is rafters are going to be able to support more of that cathedral style look so it's going to be able to have much higher sloped uh, much higher sloped roofing structures and so uh, basically the higher the higher pitch there is the better chances you're going to have rafters over just trusses now there are a ton of different uh, rafters that are available uh, one being a principal rafter two being common rafter three auxiliary rafters four compass rafters five curb rafters, six hip rafters, seven king rafters, eight valley rafters, nine jack rafters, 10 barge rafters. Point is there's a lot of them. But what's really the pros and the cons of a rafter versus a truss? Well, one of the pros of rafters are you're gonna get a lot more attic space. So that's important to you. Uh, rafters is a better option. Again, they're made at the job site. Uh, you have much more flexible design options and you can change adjust adjustments very easily because again, you're doing it at the job site. Now, some of the cons are uh, it requires a lot of time. Uh, it's very time consuming work. So there's more likely it's gonna cause, you know, cost a little bit more money to go ahead and install rafters versus trusses. And then highly skilled workers with prior expenses need to be there for the construction installation. So when installing rafters versus trusses, again, you need better skilled labor for roofing jobs. For instance, asphalt shingles is very easy to us, but if we're doing something very complex like a slate roof, I'm always going to lead to or lean to subcontractors with a lot of experience, even though they're going to definitely cost more money. Now, trusses, uh, they're more of manufacturing assembly to advance, so it's not going to be done on the job site. But the good thing is it's very easy to install them, but you're not really getting that custom fill. So your trusses are going to be delivered. And a lot of times, if it's a smaller house, all your trusses can be installed in a single day. Um, of course, the layout's more complex when it comes to trusses and. You're gonna use mini planks in the form of triangular webbing. In this way, the webbing provides support for the roof and ties the walls together as well. However, with trusses, you're gonna get limited attic space compared to rafters. Now we're gonna talk a little bit of this in the pros cons below. Uh, trusses also can be made uh, with wood and steel. So you can use both when it comes to your truss members. Uh, to me, lumber is still the best option just because prone is, you know, 
it can rust. And then of course, you know, if it's an attic that's hot and you're in a, in a moist environment, those are of course can be, you know, problems, uh, you know, going throughout. Now again, if you're wanting to get that cathedral ceiling look, you're probably not gonna be able to use trusses. You're probably gonna have to use uh, rafters. Now some of the popular truss designs or styles is gonna be Pratt trusses, Warren trusses, North Light trusses, King Post trusses, Queen Post trusses, Flat trusses, Howe trusses, or Ho trusses, depending on where you're at. Scissor roof trusses, hip trusses, and fink trusses. So there's a bunch of different types. Again, if you're not an expert framer, I don't expect you to know all these different types. Just know there's a lot of them out there. And of course, you know, whatever design rafter or truss that you use is gonna depend on what your roof's gonna look like. So again, some of the pros of uh, trusses over rafters are going to be uh, your pros are the lower labor costs for sure so it's just going to be cheaper to install uh, trusses over rafters uh, construction standards are generally consistent uh, since they're not custom made on job site you're going to be more of those going to be a, more of a quality control quality assurance component to that uh, they're very fast to install and you have very very uh, impressive structural strength for your home because again this is all a system that's put together you know well beforehand now some of the cons there you're gonna have little to no attic space uh, you're gonna have very limited ceiling designs and then of course tricky delivering installation due to size so again if you're putting in these large cathedral ceilings sometimes you can run into issues with uh, your delivery and supply just because these are getting shipped in versus getting made on the job side if we do a side-by-side -side comparison of the most common and probably the most important things uh, this is the difference between the two. You're going to want to look at your durability, your functionality and flexibility, and then also the cost. Uh, so we're going to do a side-by-side -side compared to each one of those. So rafter versus truss in terms of durability. To be honest with you, they're both really durable. Uh, I don't give an advantage to either rafters or trusses. Both of them showed express uh, very impressive strength. Again, if you've got really great framers and you've got very skilled uh, framers out there on your project and, or building your home, then your rafters are going to you know hold up just as well as your trusses will uh, of course you know your trusses are going to be made in a factory somewhere with more qa and qc so uh, to me it's kind of a tie i don't really see one being better than the other in terms of durability again that's if you have very good framers on your project now all right so rafter versus trusses for functionality and flexibility obviously i think you know based on what i've told you already uh, a rafter is going to give you a much more functionality and flexibility than a truss. Of course, everything with a truss is going to have to be you know, figured out well beforehand. Rafters kind of be, you can change that out on the job site because they are custom made and you can have more roof designs, more cathedral type roofs, uh, all kinds of different things with, uh, with, with rafters. And you can change plans very, very quickly if you need to versus trusses, you're kind of stuck with what you got. Now, in terms of rafters versus trusses and cost, as you can imagine, having a skilled laborer out there that's, again, doing you know, the framing on the home, he's gonna cost a lot more than a lot of these just made in the factory. So, of course, trusses are gonna be cheaper here, so the cost comes with the, with the trusses. And so, that's our three categories. You have a tie, and then, you know, obviously, the custom and flexibility of a rafter is great, but also the cost of a truss is great, too. So, I'm gonna call it a tie, but it really just depends on your home. Now, if you're getting ready to build a house that isn't gonna have like a whole lot of crazy designs and all that other stuff, then there's nothing wrong with using a truss over a rafter. Now, if you're building your dream home and you're gonna have all these crazy roof designs and stuff like that, obviously it makes sense to go ahead and have a rafter built. So to sum it up, both of them are great options and it really just depends on the final project that you're wanting to build. Again, are you want more of a cookie cutter style home or are you wanting to do a very, uh, very cool looking, very architecturally, you know, forward type of building or uh, or home for your house. That's what it really depends on, on which one you want to use. And of course, don't ever forget about your attic space. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and also enjoyed the eye candy. Now, obviously it costs a little bit more to have these hot chicks in the video. So it really helps out the channel a lot. Again, if you watch it all the way through, you like the video. And obviously, if you want to see more from Digital Roofing Innovations, subscribe to our channel. Remember, at Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values. Oh my God! <laughs>